Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Limey and welcome back to Circadian Dice and in this episode we are going to play some more hard mode and try to unlock the Necromancer's hard mode relic. Let's jump in. Yeah, okay. And I'm dead. Brilliant. Answer is so hard. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> Necromancer is a lot more playable with a hard mode relic unlocked. Well, got a slight chicken and egg situation going on there. Ah, uh, I mean, I, I, I could go, I could go back. I don't have to play these hard scenarios. It's just because I'm trying to do the uh, this one at the same time. I could go back to the easy ones. Uh, maybe that makes sense. Because of all the characters, like Necromancer is... I find the hardest. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to Bandit Red. We can only take one. One thing. Ah. Uh... One thing. Do you do frog beast disease? These two. I see the only thing that gives us disease in this scenario. Take Onk's fist. Go. All right. Easy mode. Hard easy mode. One. Uh, drop the chest first. Now I'm to kill you first. Go. Uh, keep. Oh, goblin soldiers. I like the go that goblin soldiers are great. <laughs> of course I'll win. You doubt me? Offended. Uh, I don't know. What do we want? I don't love any of these. Could restock? Let's restock. Reaping in the gold on the wild. That's better than what we got. Piercing attack. Fine. Keep that. Uh, we will just stun you. We'll kill you. Uh, undead army. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, uh, Catch a random skeleton in each active empty dice. Add a fang to a random face on each other active dice. Well, that could be alright. Uh, Casola also good, easy to use. Uh, these enemies are easy, so we'll take Casola. No, we can afford to be hit. If we reap him, attacks on this dice are piercing. Am I facing any enemies that would be useful against? Really think so. So keep that for the money, you're gonna reap him. Uh hmm. Heals. Heals, heals, heals. scenario. 
save our money. Keep. Uh, I'd rather have him. So we'll kill you with you. Yeah. Okay, quite like that. you for two and we'll do haunt on you stun both of you and we'll kill you uh, gems would be nice but we'd rather kill them uh, keep uh, if we capture you 20% chance to add three temporary attacks to the rolled face keeping this dice. 20% chance as opposed to a 50% chance for one. I don't think we need to be greedy. I'll do that and that. Uh, keep. Stun you. Keep you. Goblin in every dice. He expired. Yes, that is a thing. Uh, three turns left. Keep. Keep. Get that. Stop attacking me. Attack yourself, dude. Uh, keep. It's. Hits. Uh, oh yeah. Ah. Uh, so, when captured, gain a charge for each of your abilities. Okay. Sorry. Circadian Mastery, this turn rolled faces count as being both sun and moon. Mm, okay. Don't have any white gems though, so we'll never get that. Do I want that? The chain could boost the attack on that. though. Wild gem might help circadian mastery. Mm, probably rather just get that one. Okay, let's just keep that. Stun you. Oh, okay, he's reaping two. Uh, uh, let's do that. Any of the wizards have attacked themselves yet. Uh, keep that. Okay, nice. I have plenty of gold elsewhere, so I'm just going to do that. And I am going to... Charge for each ability. Three. 
three turns left to kill them all. Do that, that, and that. Good. Two turns left. I need two. Last turn. Do I have any... I've only got health on those attacks, I guess. Uh, should I roll and try and get it? Okay, low on health. Although if I keep that, oh, I can afford that. Ah, uh, what, but it adds, it will add blitz. Hmm. that Rider, the enemies have plus one attack, spawns a frog beast when killed or captured. Okay. Three splash damage is good though. Let us kill the troll brute. Keep that. Uh, get him. Kill the troll. Capture him. We want to try and capture him. I'm not sure we want the frog dude on us right away. Uh, oh, okay, haunt. This is probably a good time to haunt. Piercing. Ah, uh, could be useful, I guess, against him. Got plenty of charges. More likely to capture him. He also hits us for more. Ah, uh, he's got a curse on him, so that's fine. Let's just go for the one that's more likely. Could haunt him as well. Five charges left, but I guess it's more the gems. Might want to save that for the frog beast, so yeah, let's just take the hit. Okay. Hmm. Ah, piercing. Keep. Kill. Uh, oh, which one is it? I've got two that are similar. Horn, oh, right. The one piercing damage. Curse one, stun all cursed enemies. Uh, I could do both. Could do both. Stun both and then put all of this damage on him. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. And that and that, because he's the most dangerous one. Uh, we're not quite there. 
Although, actually, that will we could on him and he'll be dead. So that works. Done. Oh no! Four stars? What? What? What are you talking about? Only 444 points. Hmm. Oh. Well, I won, but Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, our main focus is just to get the 10 stars. So however we can do that, we will do that. Uh, so let's take Onks Fist and Vampire Nest. Uh, what have we got? Shield. Lifesteal. That's fear. Okay, fear. Deals fear damage. Gonna pull that there. Keep. Get rid of one of them. Keep. Kill. Get that. Finishing strike. Deal damage to target enemy equal to the number of times you've attacked this turn. Melee attacks count twice, okay. Money, money, money. Need to do damage. Need to do more damage. Okay, uh, well... Horn, you and you. Okay, fifty percent chance to lose one fear per turn while we've got it captured. Fifty percent chance to gain one health per turn. Okay, we'll keep that. And do that. Soul scatter, kill target non-boss, non-chest enemy, add its attack to each active enemy's attack. All non-chest, non-boss enemies get plus one attack and cursed. Uh, yeah, Hex can work with Haunt, but I've never really got it to work with it yet, so... Would let us do horn. Let's re roll that. Well, oh no, but now we can't do horn. Now we can't do horns. Heal on reroll, like. Uh, uh. Oh no, they're healing every time they hit me. Shoot, I gotta stop that. 
Damn it. Got about that. Oh. Uh... Oh, shoot. Two turns left. This isn't good. Stun him, then he'll die. Two curse on him. Last turn. Oh, God. Mm. Okay, we can do it. That and that, and then he dies. Good. Close, though. Attack equal to my current fear. Add one fear each turn. That is a lot of fearing attacks. Uh, that will protect me from them. So we'll do that. 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 Uh, we've got Witch's Knife, so the curse will transfer. So actually, let's do that. Oh, he's only got one curse on him. I thought he's going to end up with two curse on him. But at least this helps us reduce our fear as well. Uh, fear is five. That's. Fairly high. Good job, Bat. Keep it up. Uh, I guess we'd better not take that damage. And in fact, we can reap him. Double attacks on this die if fear is greater than five. Which the bats uh, actually may help with. Or may make it, actually, they may not help with it. Wait, 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 wait. Don't want to capture on that. Oh no. Uh, okay. I don't want to overwrite that. Die to fear. Uh, I guess re roll. Let's have the double attack. Although. I have to be able to kill one of these bats. Okay, which I can. Uh, right, keep. Again, I don't want to reap the bat though. So I'll do that. And that. Uh, uh, so that bat cures me of some fear. Good, he did. Keep that. Kill the bat. Could use finishing strike. Ah, it's only two damage. Take it. And the bat remove one fear. Good job. Okay, we have six. Ooh. Okay, stun is good. Stun, hit, hit. Ah, uh, actually this might not be a bad time to use finishing strike. Him. Actually, we could even get rid of him. 
do that because of his lifesteal it makes it harder to kill him. Keep. Do that. Okay, still seven fear. It's kinda high. Keep that, let's get rid of him first. Only one. Could take a trap. I would love it. Let's do a restock. Okay, so we're getting the benefit of him now. But, fortunately. More attacks on the other faces as well. Okay, good. Uh, life steal. Um, so we put four damage on him, and he's going to heal three of it back. But if I put the curse on the undead knight, which is good because it gets behind his shield, then these two dice are wasted. It's going to completely heal it off. Okay, but I am going to do that. Keep, stun, hit, hit. Oh, the Bat King perished. Oh. Okay, we'll capture him instead. Keep. Uh, which dice? Tax on this dice have life steal. I've got three on there. And four on there, although one already has life steal. So, probably doesn't matter that much. Final wave. How are we doing? 190, we need 640. Piercing attack and lifesteal. God. Fearing attack. My fear is down to 5. So that is at least good. Used unholy ritual on that guy before he died. Let's forget that. Uh... Let's try and get rid of one of these dudes first. Do I haunt now? Oh, the lifesteal kind of means I should focus. So no, let's wait. Okay, the stun is good. The heal on reroll is also good. Let's reroll. And reroll again. And we gotta keep that. Which is a shame. Uh, so we'll haunt him. 
this will kill him. Well, I suppose we could put damage on the bat. Everybody else is just going to heal it off. Let's kill him. Okay, curse went on to the bat. Fishing strike is not very useful. stay alive. Well, actually, no, not so much. He's got piercing anyway. So, no, save our money. Uh, but I'm not taking any fear off now. Uh, so the bats really need to die. Uh, okay, so let's do it like that. Keep. Kill. Do two damage, but it's not worth it. Uh, attack two with stun and a key. Over there. Mm. Come on, give me a stun. No stuns. It's terrible. Oh, that's really bad. They're just gonna heal it off, so I might as well put it on the chest. Mm, okay, stun. Keep. And uh, let's at least finish you off. Just you left and four turns to kill you. No point doing that now. Okay, we got a stun, but it's only two damage. Stun hit, uh, horn. Oh. We didn't need the stun if we're gonna do horn. Anyway, that's alright. Put curse on him. Help kill him. Great. Keep. Stun. Hit. Hit. Dead. There we go. Yes! Five stars! Alright. 652 just squeaked over the limit. All right. So we've got nine stars once again. Five and four. Uh, do we try Forgotten Island? I think we probably do. Yes. I uh, can't remember what's here. <laughs> Always nine stars. Okay, we've only got a one star this though. Uh, but I think I'm going to stick to these rather than going to Frozen Horror again because, I don't know, that just seemed hard and, yeah, not not with the Necromancer. The Onk's Fist and Witch's Knife again. Let's go. Okay, Rex. Good old Rex. Uh, okay, capture him. That's pretty good. Keep that. Stun Rex. Capture you. Money on reroll and a piercing. You know what? I will take that. It's a good way to build up some more money early game. Do I want to take four damage? Let's keep this. I might put this on Rex next go. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Do that on Rex and it stuns everybody. Even better. Money for re-rolling. And 
on plus. Okay, so if he's got no shield, it will deal two damage. Uh, in that case... Finishing strike again. Or curse soul. Curse tag enemy one. Uh, yes, curse soul. Hmm. Mm, that's a pretty good amount of damage there. Get rid of him. Two damage to him. And he's slow. Time to get some money. Even though this will kill him. Hmm, should I kill him? Should I go for the money? No, I should go for the money and I should try and get that so I can heal a bit as well. Remarkably easy. Two of those on wave three. Oh god, there's nine waves in this scenario there. Heat. Kill. Next. Really need some heals. So let's keep that. Kill him. And then let's put these heals somewhere. on him so that when they swap places next go I'm more likely to be able to kill him. Do I want this? for one. Uh, there's the heels there as well. And he'll die to the curse. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a net benefit. Skeleton. Oh, I could reap both of those, but then I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I basically have to stun this guy. It's not looking good, though, is it? 
is not looking good. Uh, blue gem would let me haunt as well. It's done. And reap and reap. So that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so that's only two because they've got shield. So I can't kill him. I have to kill this guy or stun him. I'll we'll get a blue gem. Okay, stun. Keep. Do that. Should I kill him? I probably should, shouldn't I? Nothing. Um, couple of options. Wild gem attack on reroll. Quite like that. Go for more shield on the chain. Double reap is better than that. Let's do that. Although, do need the white gem right now? Yeah, too late. Turns left. Well, we've got something that can go through his. Uh, I need a blue gem. I need to get a curse on him. So even though that will do one damage to him. Oh, I don't know. Do I keep it anyway? Will do one damage to him. Piercing. Oh, I'm gonna clutch this. Ah, uh, this technically lives if kept. Sorry, what do you mean? One, I don't want to take this. Yeah, let's do it. Last turn. Great. He's dead. Seven. Sadly, not gonna get that. Actually, not far off. Ah, oh, man. Not far off. Wave six. Oh, that's really nice. It's also cost ten. Health is also super low. Is this really the only health that I've got? Oh, well, no, I've got that. I've got this, I guess, and this. Uh, so we could kill him, actually. Oh, actually, we could kill both of those. 
Then we better make sure we... Oh, he's slow though, anyway. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep. Kill him. Kill him. One damage on him. <gasps> Wait, what? No! I thought I had more health than that. Wait, the overpower, but he only had two... The overpower... Oh no, if you've got no defense... Oh, I was thinking this was the one that... What was I thinking? I was thinking this was Frenzy. Is what I was thinking. Not overpower. Shoot. <sighs> okay. Piercing is good here. So I'm thinking we maybe get... Well, the witch's knife is... No, no, get rid of the witch's knife. Take the bow. Instead. Try that. Uh, we could never be short of blue gems again. <laughs> Pretty well, we can do better than that. Keep. Oh, we don't have his knife anymore. Ah, so I transfer. Okay, well. And Fang seems like a good buy. Uh, true. That is true, given what we're capturing. True enough, so let's do that then. Okay. Keep. Overpower one. Okay, so he's doing this three damage. Still gonna stun Rex. Die to curse, I think. I'm gonna reap him. And kill you. Oops, craft. Capture a zombie. A randomly selected type in a random empty die. If there are no empty die, a random capture is replaced. Uh, or curse target enemy one. Blah, 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 blah. That's easy to use again. Overpower three. Add stun to a random attack face on the capturing dice. Okay. Oh, it's not going to capture him there. Keep capture. Blue gem. Keep kill. Keep kill. I have to remember to use unholy ritual before these guys die. I really want that. Hang on, I only need one star, right? We're back into I only need one star mode. Maybe I should... Uh... Take... Uh, take the other rewards. Uh, three, four, five. So keep. Uh, 
uh, we could just do... All turns left. Yeah, let's do that. Keep those. Let's lock up on some gems. Money on re-roll and a reap. I mean, uh, well, I changed the bottom one for a reap, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, overpower one. Skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna haunt the skeleton. So we're gonna keep that. We'll reap him. Kill him. Haunt him. Curse target enemy for one. I am tempted to curse that tortodon. Uh, okay, so we can kill the skeleton. So let's do that. That will heal die to uh, die to curse. Um, I am out of horn. Level up. Okay, overpower. Oh, he's almost going to die. Uh, he will die after one more reroll. Yeah, okay, so we use this now. Uh, piercing... Seems pretty good. I have way more gems than I need. So let's do... Keep stun. Uh, maybe I should try and. No, let's get rid of him. One damage to him. Keep. Capture. On. And I guess if I'm gonna reap him. Oh, actually, that will hit for two, won't it? So it won't reap him. Uh, that will hit and heal and give me some money. So, yeah, do that. Turns. Uh, again. Draw, keep. Do that, do that, do that. Last turn. Perfect. Keep. Kill. Oh my god. So much overpower. Only overpower one. Oh no, he's overpower three. Uh, mm, okay, so we can stun him. We can kill him. So we're gonna hit, get hit for nine. That's kind of a lot. Could curse them so they don't come back. Could re-roll and try and get an attack on every face. Mm, got the stun. So. Uh, oh god, ideally. Yeah, yeah, okay. So keep that. Let's do... 
sacrifice him. Stun him. Reap him. Uh, let's cursed soul. I mean, they're all going to attack, so maybe maybe the hydrosaur is best. Whew. Can afford the the massive heal. Um. This might be better. This is definitely better. Well. Okay, I can keep that and not use it. Potentially. So, do that. Kills him. That kills him. Uh, I could kill him. Take one damage. Or I could not do anything and take no damage and then just have to kill him next go. Which I really ought to be able to do. So. Not the end. This is a long. I'm going for score. Should I go for something else? Score. Colossal. When this deals damage, other enemies gain four health. Slow and overpower four. Yeah, overpower is a thing. die to that. So need stuns. God. Done the big dude. Two damage on him. Get hit for five. This is not good. He's about to die. Stun the big dude. I feel like I want to curse that big dude as well. Oh no, shield. Don't need red gems anymore, so I should get rid of them. So let's buy that. Yeah, let's curse him. Okay, so, uh, no, that's uh, heading for two, yeah. Not good enough. Got a stun. Okay. Uh, almost good enough. Almost, but not quite. Oh, well, no, I guess that counts as two defense as well if I don't use it. 
so it blocks all of his attack. And two of his, so that's actually not too bad. Oh, it's not great though. Keep. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, he's healing them as well, isn't he? Okay, so we keep that. We hit him and kill him. Oh, great, okay. Uh... Well, I guess he is more dangerous, so let's do all that on him. Two, 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 or two plus. Kill him with two, three, we're done. Keep. Add. Uh, two and three. He is about to die. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh my goodness. Final wave. Final wave. Not quite a win yet. One more wave. Yep. Uh, wave nine of nine. Necromancer and the returned Colossaur. Summons a random skeleton each turn, gains four health when a skeleton dies. Overpower four, damage cap three. Oh dear. Looking for a stun. Good. Okay, damage cap three, so that will do three. So we'll do that. We'll do that on him. Man, that one shield. And we'll hit him. Let's buy something. Chain, we've got one chain. It might go off, you never know. Uh, and money is largely irrelevant at this point, so let's just do that. Oh, see summoning skeletons. to block the damage. Oh, he's gaining four health, is a Super annoying. Keep. Uh, although he's gaining health, I still feel like cursing him is probably a good idea. Remember this. Whenever you kill an enemy exactly with piercing damage, deal one piercing damage to another random enemy. I have been completely forgetting that. Uh... I mean, I guess we could use that to kill him. Could even use that to curse that and then kill that. Bang attacks from captured zombies and skeletons have a 50% chance to curse.
Ooh, it's a bit of a risk. What I take, I take five damage. Which is mm, manageable. And I'll be healing. And I gain health equal to its attack. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's a nice load of attack symbols. Uh, how do I deal with these skeleton guys, though? Um, it's three, four, five. Six, seven damage and stun on him. We don't want to heal him, so we'll put one damage on this guy. Eight damage. Sweet. Keep. Dead. Uh, we, you're about to die anyway, so... This is the only thing we've got left, so we might as well use it. Uh, oh, but now we, ah, shoot, should have done that first. Ah. Okay, fine, we'll do you. At least he'll die to the curse. And now, keep that, kill them. That's a good measure, we can even, oh. We can even do that, it's the first time that's actually triggered. The Wind Rider's Spur, right at the end. Oh, look at this. A knight combo upgrade with two attacks. Shows up. Of course it does. All right. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. 946. An emphatic five stars. Good. So we have unlocked the Soul Shatter Staff. My expectations are, are, are significantly high for this. Whenever a captured enemy is lost or replaced, gain health equal to twice its attack. If your health would go below one while you have captured enemies, instead set it to zero and cap sacrifice all captured enemies. This triggers the health gain effect. Ooh, that is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Nice. That does make a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, because health is the thing that she struggles with. Yeah, so that would be huge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice, okay. Uh, I was going to say I'll look forward to giving that a go, but uh, but next time it's going to be the Time Bender, so uh, I guess I won't. But maybe in, in Chaos Realm mode, although then still not sure I want to... Ah, I don't know. We'll try it at some point. Uh, this makes her an unkillable healing goddess. Uh, I suppose it kind of might. Sure. I'll take your word for it. I don't know. There's, there's still several months of of, uh, of wariness of the Necromancer to, uh, to overcome yet. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yes, that is going to do it for this time. Uh, next time we will have a go with Timebender and try and unlock this. Uh, and if we're feeling brave, I guess we should probably go back to the Frozen Horror uh, and try and make a bit more progress on this. Because uh, we did not make any progress on this tonight. Um, so, yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your comments. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDA Lamy signing out. Bye for now.